Congratulations my daughter, you have made me proud. Dad now I want to continue with my education, I want to pursue masters. Okay my daughter, I will support you fully. Thank you daddy, I love you, I will begin next year. And who is the owner of that house being built? I heard it's Lomex. You are joking right? I am serious, that is Lomex house. Why is he building a house now? What do you mean by that? I mean he should wait get enough money and build a mansion. Anyway it's his choice. Dad I saw Lamek is building his house. Yes, Lamek wants to marry that's why, he has to build a house for his new family to stay. You see in our culture, if a man wants to marry, first he must show that he is capable of raising a family by even building a house for his bride. Why is he in a rush to marry? He is 28, I don't think he is rushing. I haven't even thought of marriage yet, I want to finish my masters first then I may consider it. My daughter if you get a man willing to marry you don't reject his proposal. Dad who said that when you reach a certain age you must marry, that's what the society has made us believe and I don't want to be a victim of it, I want to enjoy this life, marriage will restrict me of many things that I want to do. Things like? Traveling the world. My daughter, I will love you to get married before you reach 30. I can't promise you anything at the moment. If I change my mind maybe I will consider what you are telling me now. Will you marry me? Yes yes, yes I will. You have made me the happiest man in the world. I am humbled. I saw your proposal online. Yes, Belden proposed, I am so happy I am getting married to the man I love. Happy. And you don't have a job, so what are you going to offer into that marriage? I will support him and I will get a job soon. Holda why are you talking like that, are you not happy for me? I am happy for you, but getting married and there is nothing you are going to offer, I believe that marriage will have challenges, you see when you have your own money the man will respect you, I don't understand why this generation of ours like to rush into marriage, then two years down the line you hear that the lovely couples have divorced. Holda I can't believe that's coming from you, why are you pessimistic like this? You should be happy for me or am I not your friend again? You are my friend but I have to tell you the truth. It's okay I understand. I really like you Hulda, you are such a strong lady. Thank you. I will be happy if you accept to be my wife. You know I am a working class man, I have my house, car, I just enrolled to do masters so that my salary could be increased. That's good for you but I'm not interested to be someone else's wife. I don't want to be controlled around in the name of being submissive and respectful, I want to live my own life. I am not that kind of a man Holga, I believe in this century a woman should be allowed to work and earn her money and grow, I will not restrict you to grow the way you are supposed, in fact I will nurture you, help you grow in your career and reach the level you desire. You are only saying that now, but the moment I get into your house things will change, I am not ready for that drama. What can I do for you to accept my hand in marriage? Nothing. Okay, I have tried to pursue you, since you have made a firm decision you don't want anything to do with me. I wish you all the best. Thank you. Yes lecturer you called me. You can have a seat. Thank you. Helda I like you so much and I will be happy to make you my wife. Excuse me sir, are you not married? I have never been married, I am single. What have you been doing all these years and your mates are married? You see I wasn't ready back then, I am actually an orphan, so I had no one to go to, so I had to study, find a job, then marry, right now I am 35 years, I know it's not late for a man. You see sir I am not interested in marriage, I believe marriage is a trap the society has made us believe it's a good thing. Helda I will take good care of you, just give me the chance. No I don't want. I will take care of myself. What can I do so that you can give in? Nothing. Helda I love you from the bottom of my heart. I am sorry sir, but I'm not ready for marriage now or any time soon. It's okay, I won't give up on you, I will continue trying until you accept me. That's not a good idea, if you get someone consider her for marriage. Who told these men that I want to get married, they are so annoying. Congratulations Helda. You are among the few ladies who have managed to achieve this master's in finance. Thank you sir, I love studying, I will now enroll for PhD. You should look for a job then enroll later. 
All right, thank you, you inspire me a lot. My daughter, I didn't see any man at your graduation. Don't tell me that there is no man who has asked you out all these years you have been doing your masters. Dad they have been, in fact a lot of them but I am not ready to get married. Helda what do you want to do with your life now? Dad I want to enjoy life, go to places, that's the meaning of life to me. My daughter don't make decisions that you will come to regret in life. I will not dad. You said you wanted to talk to me after church. Yes I want to talk to you. I'm all ears. You are a God-fearing and hard-working man. You come from a Christian home. Your parents taught you well. I know you will make a good husband for my daughter. What if your daughter rejects me? Let's just try. Okay. Halda please come. We have a guest. This is Jeff. And Jeff this is Halda my daughter. Nice to meet you Halda. I've been seeing you around the village for quite some time now. Pleasure. My daughter I want you to know Jeff. Be friends and maybe someday you may end up somewhere. Dad you are unbelievable, so you brought a village man to come and ask for my hand in marriage indirectly. Dad I told you I am not interested in marriage. How old are you are now 28 for crying out loud, why do you hate men like this? I don't hate men, it's just that I am not ready. Jeff you can go we will talk later. See you. Dad after getting my masters you want me to get married to a village man, how do you see me? That man is not my class. Okay then bring your class. You know you are my only family after I lost your mom and brother in a car accident. You are the only person I have left with. I want you to make this family grow again. Please my daughter don't let our family die like this. Okay dad, I have heard you. I will think about it. Thank you. I thank God I have got a job. Let me leave home before he starts lecturing me about starting a family. I will have to go visit my friend and before I leave. Oops are these your kids? Yes this is the eldest and this is the youngest. That's awesome, we can get into the house. I came to visit you, I am going back to the city to work. I'm happy to see you. Anyway what do you do? I am a staying home mom, you know I have to take care of these kids. Kids seem headache to me. When will you ever change Holda? Anyway I am glad seeing you. Now I have to go. Thank you for passing by. This is your office. If you need anything you can call me. Thank you. I have to travel now. I have made enough money. I have to go to Dubai, Seychelles, Maldives. I can't wait to live the life I have always desired. Helda, we have a business trip outside country. I have selected you to accompany me. We are leaving together next week. We'll stay there for two weeks. Prepare yourself. Okay, sir. Why do we have only one room with one bed? You know they thought we are a couple, so that's why. What? Yes, but this bed is big enough for both of us. Make a call and tell them we need another room. That won't be possible in the moment. So we will have to share this bed? Yes. I will miss Dubai. Me too. Oh no. Why am I vomiting every now and then? Oh it can't be, I have missed. We need to talk. Now. Yes now. Okay tell me. I am pregnant, I am carrying your child. What? I will take care of the child only if I'm sure it's mine. Excuse me, do you know who you are talking to? For your information I only came to tell you I am carrying your child not that I want you to support me, I'm not interested. I have my money I don't need you and your money. Oh. Okay, I need to go to my office I have work to do. I have never seen such kind of a woman. A lot of ladies I see around would be begging me to marry them. Anyway I like her. I will try to pursue her to marry me. We have a bouncy baby boy. What do you think we name him? Don't talk in plural. It's I. I am the one who is going to name him not we. Helga this is our child, and I don't want our child to be raised by a single parent. Please will you marry me? I want us to be a family. You already know me, I am not interested, I can raise my child by myself. Please think about the baby. You can leave, you just annoy me, what happened was a mistake I could have never made. Helga is something else, she is refusing my hand in marriage just because she thinks she's more beautiful and with money, beauty will fed with time. My daughter I have been admitted in the hospital, will you please come and see me? I'm coming, 
on my way. Dad, why have you been admitted? What's wrong? My child, I'm getting old and I may not live many years from now. Please, I need a grandchild before I die. Dad, don't worry. You have a grandson. I'm sorry I didn't tell you about this earlier. I need to see him and your husband as well. Dad, I am a single mother. Please, I want to see my grandson. Bring him to me. Okay, Dad. I feel lonely. I think I should just get married. But all the men that have been asking for my hand in marriage are now married. I don't know how I will be able to carter for my family now that I have lost my job. I pray God to help me. I've never seen such a lazy man like you. I'm leaving. I can't stay with someone who can't provide for his family. Please give me time until I get another stable job. I am tired with your fake promises. I am going for good. Don't look for me. Just live your life. What will I do now that I don't have a job? My wife has ran away. How will I survive, Lord? Excuse me, madam. You have dropped your purse. Thank you. You are a good man. You are welcome. You seem troubled. Are you okay? I lost my job a few months ago. Now looking if I can get one. You have helped me. I will try help you get a job. I will be grateful. I tried looking for a job for you but the only one I got is that of a security guy. That's okay as long as I can get money. Alright then I will take you there and you can start work immediately. Thank you madam. I thank God for that woman who came into my life. Now I can start bringing my life back together. How do you stay alone all these years in this big house? Look for a man to stay with you. To be honest I am lonely. I will think about it. Alright. I remember Jasper said his wife left him. I will talk to him. I think he will accept to move in with me, since I have even helped him get a job. How is work? Not bad, I thank God. And where do you stay? I stay in the slams. You know with my salary I can't afford a good house. I know, what if you come and stay with me in my house? I have my own house I don't pay rent. Madam How, what about your husband? I don't have a husband. Okay, I will think about it and let you know. Okay. That woman likes me. This is a good chance to enjoy life. Yes, I will accept to stay with her. I know we will be living like husband and wife. I see you have changed. What is this that has humbled you? Nothing. By the way, there is a man I met few months ago. He is not doing well financially and I want him to come and stay with me. Then we can start a family. I believe it's not good for a man to move in into a woman's house. I have heard incidents which are not good and I don't want you to go through them. Not good how? It's good for a man to be capable of taking care of his family. After marriage it's a woman who should move into the man's house and not vice versa. But he is not financially stable. Then the man is not ready to raise a family. I believe those other stable men are all married by now. Even in the Bible Jesus Christ, who is a bridegroom went to prepare a place for us. In John chapter 14 verse 3 it says, If I go and prepare a place for you, I will come again, and receive you unto myself. That where I am, there ye may be also. You see Christ went to prepare a place for us as the bride. So it is the same way even to us. Why do you want to reverse the law and principle of how it should be done by allowing a man move in into your house? I was asking for your advice not your opinion please. Okay I have to go now. I am glad you have agreed to move in with me. I am happy now I live in a good house. I know what I'm doing is wrong, but I feel lonely in this big house. Goodbye to poverty. My contract has ended. It's okay, don't worry, I will look for you another job. I'm tired of the dramas in that company. Let me stay at home and relax a bit. Okay, take your time. Is it true that the contract of Jasper ended? No, he just resigned. What? But why? We don't know. You lied to me that the contract ended and you are the one who resigned? Why could you do that? You see that job they pay us little money and we always do a lot of work, so I decided to resign. But you shouldn't lie, I will help you apply for other jobs. By the way I am so hungry I haven't eaten anything since morning. I didn't go to work with cooking utensils, everything is in the house you could have cooked anything for yourself. Now that you are here can you please prepare something for me to eat? 
You are not serious, I have been busy working all day, you have been just watching, I can't do that, just get into the kitchen and make something for yourself. You don't respect me, how dare you talk to me like that? You are in my house so how dare you? If you don't want to cook for yourself you can stay hungry, I can't cook for someone who has been lazing all day. I found another job for you, you can go to start working. Okay. Where have you been taking your money? I want you to start providing as a man. By the way you are not making any effort to grow financially ever since I met you. There has not been any change. You see I knew even if you have a small job with time you will grow but I don't see any effort you are making. I don't want a fight. I'm out of here. You just don't want to hear the truth. I really made a mistake telling this man to move in with me. It's two years and he has not made any change. I do everything and yet I have a man in the house, I think he is taking advantage of my desperation, I wish I could have accepted many suitors who wanted my hand in marriage, I know they were hard working not like this lazy man I am living with. I'm tired of your laziness, take your things and move out of my house, I can't continue doing this anymore. Please don't chase me, where do you want me to go? I don't care. Get out I don't want to see your face anymore. I know I messed up, let me accept my fate of being single the rest of my life, it's better to be single than living with someone who behaves like a child. I have learned my lesson in a hard way. I wish I could have listened to the advice I was given. When you are feeling lonely or desperate, you are much likely to make poor love choices and end up in unfulfilling relationships. Some people are so emotionally empty that they are desperate for anyone to marry. In the end, they end up in a painful relationship. The choices in life that you are living have brought you to where you are right now and are insufficient to bring you where you need to be. You don't have to make any big decisions, just make one good choice at a time, and change your trajectory. Your days of desperation can be over in a moment, and they are not dependent or waiting for the other person to make good choices. Capturing the rich treasure of true humility starts with you. Nobody can do it for you, and it's impossible without experiencing and knowing the extravagance of God's love and value for you. There is absolutely nothing you can do to force your partner to choose your relationship, but there is absolutely everything you can do to your part. Remaining respectful, teachable, yielding, patient and manageable keep your heart open to hear what you can do to change. The temptation to blame the other person is valid and natural, but maintaining a desire to see through new eyes, understand from a new point of view, and remain pliable will give space for God to mold you, shape you and most importantly, love you in your deepest pain. Be blessed.